Okay, um, I'll take no responsibility for any of this. And this is just a little uh, thing about the... Because uh, there's not much information about this. And I bought this and nearly sent it back. Because I thought it wasn't going to work. Well, it does work, but it's a bit of messing around. So here's what you have to do. Clark PC60. Let's start off with the, the cables. Um, this is a 2.5. You need to run this. Now, I'm not saying that this is exactly how, how anyone should do it or anything else. This is all down to you and your responsibility. 32 amp shut off box. Six millimeter armored cable. On a connector box. You take the, the earth, send it to the earth, which is at the top here or whichever your machine is. You take the neutral, which is your blue wire from this cable, from the clock cable. You put the, the light, you put you obviously turn all the power off. You take you buy a 32 amp MBC connector plug and you connect that to the buzz bar and your live feed in there. That's the clock wire inside sorted out. You cannot put it on that. It is not a big enough ampage. So sorry about the light, it's a dark in here, and there's no light actually in this little cubby hole. So just to show you, that's already switched on, and then power on. And then you go one, two. And obviously when you're closing it down, one, two, power off. And I'm not even bothering touching this thing because that one's a little bit dodgy and I'm shutting it down there. Right, that's that bit sorted out for. Um, now, this is, was my problem and why I nearly returned it. This is a four pin, 16 amp um, plug. This is a 32 amp with the five pin plug on the end of my machine there's a five pin plug so how this all worked out was i've opened up my machine i've looked at it and gone ah or this cable I've gone ah it's got an earth a neutral earth that's a problem right so i've looked into my machine opened up the box had a quick look and gone ah it's got a neutral earth in it blue wire damn this won't work anyway so i left it for a couple of days going to send this back and then decided you know what i'm going to open my motor up and have a look inside the motor it's a great big cross saw i won't put it on the video because there's loads of stock in the way so i opened up the 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 motor and sure and lo and behold the neutral blue wire was capped off with no power to it so i come back to the machine i wired the machine into the the consumer unit I took my blue wire here, I folded it back, you can just about see the tape possibly, I folded it back out the way, cut the end off, folded it back out the way, taped it up, and then I wired my earth, is in the bottom, I think, if I remember rightly, obviously the earth's going to be really obvious, my black wire is in the middle, at the top, which is L2, and 3 and 1 is whichever way you get the motor to spin, I originally had my motor spinning backwards, and then realised it and switched this around this end, plugged it all in and hey presto it all works so it does work but you do have to fluff around with it and so if you have but if you have got a uh, blue neutral earth wire with a five pin machine and it is connected because uh, sometimes they're connected for a break and so they'll use a 230 volt for a break i'm not an expert on this stuff so i hold no responsibility i'm just trying to help you out and this is my really really rubbish review on a clock um, well, yeah, phase converter, PC60. I believe the PC40 is the same setup, and the PC20, I stand to be corrected, is a, you can plug it into the, the normal 13 amp fuse on the PC20. So just to make sure you cannot plug that 2.5 millimeter wire into that 13 amp plug. It must be done roughly like I've done with the 32 amp, 32 amp and i believe that that cable is 25 amp and the rest of this is all overkill so anyway that's my first youtube ever video to help you lot out and uh at free of charge and help clark out and the people i bought this from which was sitebox which yeah hmm, they charge a a, 50, uh, a 10 percent return fee and you have to pay for the uh the shipping privilege but there you go that's where you're at they're the cheapest you can buy it on there all right